Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today's Friday, February 2nd. Hope everybody had a good week. Let's take a quick look at the markets and then we'll jump into the trades for the week. So uh, let's start with VIX. Uh, so VIX has been just kind of chopping for the last month or so in this little box. Um, Monday, I, I think that little spike above 15 was a misprint, a little data issue. I don't think it actually got that high, but uh, contracted Monday, Tuesday, obviously big spike on Wednesday with FOMC and then contracted back down below 14, uh, SPX, obviously a all time new high today, 49.75.29, uh, NASDAQ down early in the week up today and yesterday as well. Russell finished lower and the Dow had a uh, down day on Wednesday, but up every other day. Gold dipped today, but up for the week. Silver down for the week a little bit. Big story, though, bonds. Uh, bond Notes and bonds pushed higher and then uh, really came down hard today with the 10-year yield popping, settling in above four. Oil lower for the week. Natty gas kind of chopping sideways. Uh, all the grains were kind of up and down, chopping sideways. Euro ended lower with a big... Uh, Big move lower, big move down today with the U.S. dollar going up, and same with the pound, and then Bitcoin settling in at forty three thousand two twenty. All right, so let's jump into my trades for the week. Um, so pretty decent week. Uh, if I pull up, let's see, let me get my screen here. If I go with, uh, let's just go through the zero DTE. So for my AM trades, uh, two trades, one for plus 3,400, and then the one today, minus 5,500 on that big move. It was looking really good. It was up like 30%, and then just, uh, just got ripped with that big push higher. Uh, DKS, just one of those this week, and that was a $1,100 winner. Couple of FOMC trades this week on Wednesday. Um, actually, these should be merged together. So that's basically a scratch, and then a uh, did a long strangle for plus thirty eight hundred. JSPs. I don't think I. Yeah, one. Okay. So yeah. Oh yeah, a big one for twenty nine hundred. That was a nice trade, and then for Power Hour, let me get all these checked. So for Power Hour, uh, did well plus eleven thousand, and in fact, this one here would have been a winner, but I entered it incorrectly. Uh, that's one that I should have done a different, uh, based on the price action. I should have done a different structure, which would have been a winner. Ended up being a five thousand dollar loser. So unfortunately, uh, unfortunate for that one, but still plus eleven thousand for the week for Power Hour. And then my PM iron condors. So uh, both of those were winners. This will settle. These options uh, expired, so they'll settle tomorrow. But um, the longs did. Uh, so plus, what is that? Six, almost seven thousand. Yeah, a little over seven thousand on those two trades. So a couple nice trades there. Quiet lunch. Three trades, two winners, one loser, so plus 3,600 on those. Had one Rick. It was good for about 3,300. O2 call calendar. Just had one of those, plus 325. One DTE iron condors. Uh, three of those, all three losers, so minus 8,300 on those. Those have been doing so well, too. Unfortunately, not this week. Uh, Dynamic Butterflies uh, had two time flies. One was a winner for plus 650. This one will not be a winner. Uh, I think it'll be like minus 1,000 uh, once, uh, once the butterfly portion of that expires. So that, that plus 3,400, that is not correct. So a little bit red on the, uh, on the butterflies this week. Uh, Dynamic Calendars, good week for calendars. 
Let me get all these checked. Just to, I didn't trade them all, but just to make sure we cover all of them. So uh, nine hundred thirty dollar winner on a five seven, twelve hundred dollar winner on a six seven, nice winner on a three five, nice winner on a four five, nice winner on a three seven. Had a B and B loser, B and B winner, and then this was a TGIF. I actually did not post this one in the community. It was I did a two to one ratio. I put it on right before FOMC, uh, just as a just as kind of, just as a more of a discretionary kind of a test trade. Ended up being a nice winner. Uh, for thirteen fifty on that one, and let me uncheck all these. Why is it not letting me uncheck that way? I guess I'll do it one by one. Next category is Iron Ducks. Just had one small winner, plus one forty on that duck. MOC trade. So these trades don't come very often, but uh, had a nice uh, market on close imbalance trade, and that was good for uh, 2600 Option selling. Uh, that's actually just a roll, so that one is not closed yet. So no closing trades on those. And then PM Iron Condors. Excuse me, portfolio margin trades, not PM Iron Condors. Uh, plus 1,000 for the week. So $650 winner on a Humpty, $290 winner on a reverse vertigo, minus 3,400 on Humpty, and then plus 35 on a reverse double calendar. So plus 1,000. Uh, the thing I forgot to mention on zero DTE, so I've, I'm doing some other trades as well. In addition to the ones that I showed you, I've just been kind of testing those. So I have those under my test trades, one of which is using our NTT indicator. Uh, so had uh, about a $5,000 profit on those. And then another kind of variation of that, I'm just calling it zero DTE price action. Uh, those didn't do... Uh, so hot, but I'm, I'm pretty excited about, you know, what, I, what I'm doing with this. It's, it's more not back test related entries, but more price action related entries. And, uh, unfortunately on the, on the price action version, I started on Thursday and, and we know how Thursday and Friday went this week, just monster move. So not the best way to get started. One, one takeaway from this is there was really no reason for me be, to be doing the size that I was doing. Um, <clears throat> instead of just trading really small or even paper trading. And so took some losses on that, uh, that, that really could have been avoidable had I just, you know, been trading smaller size, especially when I'm still kind of working out some of the structure and the kinks of how I'm going to trade it. But, uh, even though did, did show some losses, see some, see some nice promise with that. So look forward to continuing that. And I've, I've actually put, uh, some of my, more back test trades on the uh, back burner for this month because I, I'm really focused on this, trying to hone in exactly how I'm going to be trading this going forward. And then once I get that all dialed in, I will move back some of those back tested trades in for my trading next month. But for the full month of February, uh, I'm going to have a heavy focus on this. So you'll see some of these results in the weeks to come. All right, that's all I got. Have a good weekend. Take care. See you Monday.